We love having you. It's a pleasure, you know, because you, you know, we're, we see each other in the hall sometimes, but we don't get to do this. Yeah, we never get to really talk. I just, it's like a quick high five in the hall. Yeah, I was like, hey, how you doing, man? Uh, yeah, so now we're just going to hang. Yeah, this is just all hang time Pretend right like here. Pretend like no one's but here. But you're a super busy guy, so I know your time is limited uh, uh, between uh, the nightly news and, and Dateline, which... I love yeah. Dateline. 25 years on the air. Has that show been on it, for 25 it is, it's years? It's amazing to be part of a successful franchise like that. And there's no shortage of stories. It really isn't. You know? but, and I, I've, I'm addicted to it. I, and I can, guess, I can guess what happened normally. Well, sometimes. Sometimes Sometimes you throw me a little curve. We, throw, we throw the little curve and that little last block. And yeah. You go, ah. you go, oh, my gosh. Yeah. It's such a well done show. Uh, uh, congrats on being a grandfather. Oh, it's is this for real? Thank I mean, you. Yeah. Thank you. I can't believe you're a grandpa. I can't either. Uh, little Henry is. Uh, Five months old. Five months. Here's you and your terrific. grandson Henry, right there. Yeah, that was. Look uh, at that little guy. That was Christmas Day. The eggnog had been flowing for both of us. <laughs> and, uh, How great is that? It, it is such a great feeling, and you know, they, it, everything they say about being a grandparent is true. You get to experience the love, the joy, and then at the appropriate time. Here you go. <laughs> you, know? you hand it back. You go. Not, not really my problem. And get yeah. a full night's sleep. Yeah, and exactly. And not feel guilty, but it's really special. Oh, that's so great. And is it? This is Stefan's. Stefan's, yeah, my older son Stefan, who, who you, you see him in the hall still. I see him in the hall. I've known him for a long time. When he was a, he, he following Dad's footsteps. Yeah, he, he He's anchors the, anchor here. Anchors the uh, four and eleven o'clock news at uh, WNBC here in this, here in the building. Yeah, here in New York. Yeah, yeah. I knew him. I, I met him in Chicago when he was over in. Uh, That's right. When you were starting out on the show. Yeah, exactly. Was yeah. were you from Chicago as well? I you? worked there for about fourteen years. I'm from California originally, yeah. but that uh, that was my adopted home. And now he's now he's now he has a baby. Now he's a dad. It, it is true, and I see him around the building, which is. What's it like when you guys is, see each other? It's, it's like, such a hoot. You know, you're in this busy building, and we'll, we'll be on the elevator, and he walks on, and we chat for a minute, and I'll say, "Well, I got to go do this," and he, and he goes, and he's got this big heart. He's never been embarrassed by his parents. And he, in the middle of Thirty Rock, okay, I'll see you. Love you, Dad. Yeah. Oh, come my on. heart always goes. Ah, you know, <laughs> so cool, so man. Great. I yeah. hope my kids always tell me they love oh, me. I hope they do. I've got. I got two great boys. Never gave me a lick at lick at trouble. So really? I, I feel very. I have blessed. two little girls, and I remember dropping them off at a preschool, and I go, uh, oh, "She's gonna just start crying and just be like, I can't. I, I love you, Dad. I love you, Mommy. I can't go." And I brought her to the preschool, and I was like, "All right." I'm like, "Don't let her start. You know, go, you gotta go play." And as I was saying, "You got it. She already left us." Oh God! I know. <laughs> I was I was crying. You were looking for a little separation. <laughs> yeah, anxiety. yeah, a little one little thing, which is like, "I miss you." And they didn't look back at all. Like I was like, uh, "All right, that was the end of that, man." Uh, but you're doing a great job in the nightly news. Thank you. Uh, I watch every single night. Uh, you recently went to North Korea. I did. Yeah, we uh, we spent uh, three nights there. Wow. Which is, uh, it's, it's the only reporting assignment I've ever had where you don't know what you're going to get. You fly all this way, yeah. you go through customs, you're met by your escorts who, you know, tell you what you can shoot, what you can't shoot, where you're going to go, where you're not going to go. And so you're, you know, every moment is a surprise, you know, where are we going now? And, and obviously, you know, they have a story they want to tell and things they want us to see. But um, my feeling was, you know, this is a country that has threatened our country with nuclear annihilation. So any chance to... You know, get some glimpse into what life is like there, the people. I mean, as, as a journalist, you can't say no. Uh, are you headed to South Korea for the Olympics? Yeah, I'm going back to Asia in a couple of weeks wow. for the Pyong, Pyeongchang Pyong Olympics. Chang. Yeah. How many Olympics have you, have you done? This is going to be number nine for me. Is that right? Uh, yeah, in the past I would work, um, I kind of would moonlight, uh, do NBC News and also work for NBC Sports. Like in Sochi, I anchored some of the coverage uh, during the daytime here in the yeah. States. Uh, and this will be, you know, my first Winter Olympics as nightly news anchor. But it is, it is the best perk of the job going to the Olympics. I get, I can get really corny about it. You meet these young people, who've done these amazing things. They work day in and day out. You know, we don't know who they are. They become a household name yeah. for a couple of weeks, and they come strutting up to the cameras, and they've got their gold medals on, and their parents are, you know, blushing and with they're pride. Yeah, and they're kids. Yeah, I mean, it's and I, great. Just, I just get like all America like. You know? I just, <laughs> <laughs> That's good to me too. Yeah, no, it's, you it's, got the hats, the jackets, and you no, go. No, and, and you know, it also it's a time. It's a kind of viewing that you know, grandparents and three-year-olds, everybody can watch together. It really Olympics, is like wholesome family. Yeah, and I I think we all right now we could all use just a little break. Right yeah, now. I think we absolutely yeah. can. Yeah, please. Uh, but tomorrow night we're not getting a break because you're actually uh, hosting prime time coverage of the State of the Union. State of the Union. This is uh, President Trump's first. He did a speech to Congress about this time last year, but this is his first official State of the Union. Uh, what are the expectations? Well, I mean, we know he's going to talk about uh, the, the tax bill, which uh, you know he'll uh, you know 
talk about what he thinks it means to business. Uh, he'll talk about immigration. Those the topics we kind of we kind of know. I think what people will be looking for is you know the learning curve of the first year of a, of a presidency. Um, if he reflects that, if he you know talks about things he's learned, and uh, if we sense any sense of a new direction or a new softening or a new new stance. I mean, he's a, he's a man that's clearly aware of what got him here. And that's speaking his mind and, and owning things. So, uh, you know, we'll just kind of see. Yeah. Well, we always love everything you do, buddy. Please come back. Thank you. It's uh, a pleasure. You. Please, I love you. Congrats on being a granddad. Awesome. Thank Lester, you. Lester, hold everybody. Uh huh. On and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.